Hi everybody, welcome back to another scripting tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about moving um, an actual brick. So we're going to make it so that Jimmy actually moves forward when we click on him. So uh, we're going to open up a script here and last time we made him turn uh, transparent or we made, we made him toggle between transparent and non-transparent when we clicked on him. So we can just use this exact same little structure right here. Uh, just get rid of this because we're going to do an entirely different thing. We're just going to like shift him over a few studs uh, when uh, when we click on him. So and then we can click on him multiple times and he'll just keep running away. <laughs> so we're gonna call this something else. We can call this whatever we want. We can even just leave the name, but I'm just gonna call it uh, move. Um, and then remember to change the function name right here as well don't forget to do that okay so let's just uh, let's do it I'm gonna explain a new concept um, you're familiar with like <laughs> 3d worlds of course um, so basically there's three dimensions you have uh, when we're talking about uh, these kind of games I guess um, you normally call the dimensions X, Y, and Z, and you can see, uh, hopefully you can see it here, you should have this little, this little guide picture thing on the bottom left corner of your screen, and it shows, um, it says Y, uh, the, the Y is the green, X is red, and Z is blue, that shows the directions of the, of the axes, um, so, X gets bigger. Actually, let's look at it more uh, at a better direction. Okay, so we're looking at the the map from the side. Uh, you can skip ahead a little bit, I guess, if you know all this. X gets bigger as we go um, that way. Hold on. As we go this way, X is going to get bigger. Uh, it's important to know to understand the directions. Y, of course, gets bigger as we go up. And then, hold on. I think that's how I had it before. Yeah, okay. Um, and then Z gets bigger as we go towards us. Okay. Um, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. If we want to change Jimmy's position, we have to we have to deal. They're called vector three values. Okay, so I'm just gonna write a little script, um, and I guess I'll explain it afterwards. So we're gonna say. Um, Jimmy dot position equals Jimmy dot position plus vector three dot new. Uh, you don't have to understand what's going on here as usual. Um, zero zero. Oh. Uh, let's make it go five. Um, this should already work actually. <laughs> um, this might be a lot easier than I thought it would be, but we're gonna do something a little more complicated after this. I'm gonna press F6 to go into play solo and we're gonna make sure that this works <clears throat> alright and click on it all oh, and all of a sudden he just moved that's exactly what I expected okay so each time we click on him he's just gonna run away go Jimmy go woo oh as, as um, by the way I changed the the water as you can see um, I'm gonna I thought about um, as we keep clicking on uh, I don't know why this is so fun. Just keep on clicking on Jimmy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just ha I'm mesmerized. Okay. Um, what we're going to do in this video, after I explain what we just did with Jimmy, is make the water, the water, the water rise up and down just a little bit, and probably shift left and right. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll just have it go up and down. So let's exit out of that. Okay. Now let me explain what I did here. Um, if you look in Jimmy, um, I'm going to click on him over here. If you go down to the properties window and you scroll down, you can find the position property. So this is this is just another property with um, three different values, the X, Y, and Z position. Um, okay, so keep an eye. Uh, keep an eye. Where did we go? <laughs> All right. Keep an eye on the X right there. Okay, as we go that way. X each for each stud that we move Jimmy, Jimmy um, X moves or X gets bigger by one and as you can see 
you can that kind of you can get kind of a little bit of help from the little I don't know what you call that thing on the bottom left and then as we go this way X gets smaller as I explained before and it can even go into the negatives we're just gonna put Jimmy back um, same with the Z axis axis gets bigger over here smaller that way okay and same with the Y axis as well now um, what we do here is we get Jimmy's position so we're gonna say Jimmy's position equals his current position plus a new position okay this is where it gets a little bit uh, weird I guess um, whenever you want to set a new position of something or whatever then you have to <clears throat> uh, you have to create a new value <laughs> a vector 3 value uh, forgive me and so if we want to we're just saying hmm. okay you're probably thinking why can't we just say uh, Jimmy dot position equals Jimmy dot position dot Z plus five or something like that. You can actually get uh, the uh, Jimmy's um, Z position by doing this, but you can't change it. That's why you have to uh, set a new vector three value. In fact, let's do something simple. Let's comment this out. You can quickly comment something out. By the way, if you select it and then hold um, Control Shift C. Uh, that's how it is right now anyway. They might change that in the future or something. Okay, so let's just say uh, print jimmy.position.z. Um, it's going to just ignore all this and only print this. I can't remember. I, I'm pretty sure I've showed you this before. What print does is it uh, tells us something in the output down below. Um, and it pretty much prints whatever we put in these parentheses okay so what is uh, when we run the game uh, we're gonna see down here Jimmy's Z position so Jimmy's Z position as you can see over here is 28 so if we click this green arrow to run the game oh <laughs> okay uh, one second uh, it, it but it freaked out on me because I tried printing Jim oops, I tried printing Jimmy dot position, but it doesn't know what Jimmy is yet, so I'm going to move that below this, and I'm gonna take this out. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. This is kind of a casual episode today, I guess. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, 28. Uh, very good, as I expected. Uh, you can see down here. Um, let's clear the output now because just why not? Let's keep it clean. Don't forget to reset the uh, reset the game. Okay, so yeah, we can we can find the the Jimmy's Z posi Z position just by doing that. So why can't we just do this? Why can't we say Jimmy dot position equals Jimmy dot position dot Z plus five? Or I guess you would you would think dot Z right there as well. I'm just trying to get inside your head because. Um, that's the best way to teach. I, then I then I end up asking the same questions you do. So yeah. Um, the reason we can't do with that is it's just a rule. You can't those. Um, that's one of that's one thing that you can't actually change. Um, in that in that way, you can only read it, which is useful in some cases. <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna put this how it was before. Um, so it's setting Jimmy's position to what it already is now and then it's just adding a little bit more vector 3 and then dot new why we put the dot new I don't know because it's a new vector 3 value I guess and then so the first uh, we have 0 0 and then I put 5 we can make this anything we want like 10 or something um, so the first part is uh, that represents the X position and this represents the Y position um, and this represents a Z position just in alphabetical order so we can also do both we can say okay we want to set him to um, want to, we want to increase his X coordinate as well as his Z coordinate so we're just going to do this again press F6 <clears throat> wait for the game to load okay go okay as you can see it's moving in a diagonal direction now um, which is pretty fun. So that's 
yeah, that's pretty much it. That's I mean, nothing is going to go wrong with this except for one thing. Let's put Jimmy over here so I can show you. And then I'm going to put this back to zero just to make things easier. Okie dokie. I'm going to go back to play solo. Now, I'm going to move in front of Jimmy. Let's see what happens if if we try and click on Jimmy and he's going to go inside of us, apparently. But that's not the case. He's going to go on top of us. Um, when you try and set an object's position, um, like, you know, <laughs> like if you try and put it inside a brick, it doesn't work uh, when, you, when you do it the way I just showed you. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to fix that to make it so that it will actually go inside of bricks uh, when you click him. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this whole line. There's a new thing called C-frame. That stands for coordinate frame. So C-frame is like the object's position, or the part's position, except it also includes its angle, as well as some other things, I think. I'm not sure, but C-frame is just a little bit more complicated. Uh, Jimmy dot... So, okay, I'm just going to show you how to change this. So Jimmy dot C frame, we're just changing a C frame now instead of his position, equals Jimmy dot C frame plus, and we can still do the same thing. We could do C frame dot new, but then I don't think, I don't know, that's just, once you become a more advanced scripter, then you'll know um, kind of more about C frame. I'm a little bit of a newbie at C framing and angles and stuff myself, but we can still just use vector 3 this time. It will accept that, so we're just going to do 0, 0, or 5. Yeah, so jimmy.c frame equals jimmy c frame plus vector 3.new. And something interesting is if you click on Jimmy and go into his properties window, you will not find the C frame property. Um, some, some objects have just random hidden properties that you can't see. Um, for some for some reason, um, like parts, of course, uh, have that C frame which you cannot see. But it's okay because uh, you you learn and you figure it out. So let's see if that worked. Um, make sure that we're doing this right. Okay, if we click on Jimmy, good. He he goes that way, and if we get in his way, then he's not going to go on top of us. He's just going to slide right under us. Cool. Which means we can make like a fun little obstacle course or something like, yeah, oh man, I, I, I missed it. So, uh, jump and then click on him. I'm just having a little bit of fun here. Kick, 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 and then he can't touch the lava. Oh wait, this is just water. Never mind. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Yeah, so uh, that was uh, what we did with Jimmy. I guess this episode is running a little bit long. Uh, I was going to make it so that you could do the water, make the water go up and down. Uh, I'm debating whether I should uh, whether I should do this. Maybe I'll, I'll do it next episode if you guys want me to. Um, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, you can do a lot of little fun things with this, with moving, uh, moving uh, uh, little parts uh, around and uh, using C-Frame. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you're not sick of me yet. Uh, bye.